And three, two, one, boom. And we are back in the episode of Scratch Gamers. This episode brought to you by Zenro Clothing Co. Pick up your teas and accessories at zenroclothingco.com and make sure to use code SGPODCAST for 20% off uh, select items. I was going to say your order, but it's actually not everything is 20% off. Teas and hoodies. Yeah. Anyways, so we uh, checked out um, Birds of Prey. This is my second time seeing it. I first saw it. We we initially weren't going to check this movie out. We were like, oh, it's gonna be like corny and like I have this I have this thing where like if the marketing is too on point, it must mean the movie's not that good. So I was in like Yorkdale and I was like walking through and they were doing like these like pop up photo things for like Birds of Prey. Really? Yeah, it was so weird. They had like um they had like a, the set and like you could take a picture with the hyenas or like on the couch and stuff and i was like oh that must mean the movie's not that good mm-hmm. right because like you're like overhyping it yeah but i saw it and i was like oh man it's so good so i decided to like tell vish and then he's like all right we'll check it out so i, I checked it out for the second time this is the first time and as with all movie reviews we're gonna score it talk about it score it again see if we sway each other's opinion okay yeah so uh they should go first as always uh hmm seven okay that's not bad yeah. that's that's way better than i thought you okay. were gonna give it <laughs> wow but not not as sick as i thought it was i'm gonna give it like an 8.5 okay wow really hey you, you didn't think it was worth 8.5 no all right cool, cool all right let's go through what we didn't like about it and then we'll go through what we liked about it so what didn't you like why why do you give it only a seven uh i don't know i I didn't i felt bored there was parts that were pretty really okay yeah like the what can i remember like the scenes where they were talking or like i think it was like when canary was talking to the kid okay and then where canary was talking with the cop i think wait somewhere canary oh canary yeah yeah, okay okay. yeah there was some of those scenes i remember like getting bored i did there was i don't remember where it was but i I felt sleepy at one point. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. All right, well, okay, so it's funny that you say that because you thought the gentleman was boring. Yeah. Right? And and I love the gentleman because I love Guy Ritchie movies. Yeah. So, like, me thinking this movie is amazing is because it reminded me of, like, a Guy Ritchie movie. Right. You know? And, like, you don't like that. So I guess that's why I wanted to see it twice because I was like, oh, mm. it's really – it was like a it's like a neo guy Ritchie style. I feel like the re- yeah the reason I think also I don't like those types where it always goes back because it went back multiple times. Yeah, but, but didn't you things. didn't you like that? Like that's no, the thing so I like, loved about it. Whenever I used to see that on TV or something else, it was just like okay, they're just it's a uh, uh, they're saving money <laughs> in doing this. Oh wow, that's how I okay. felt, and then it's like, but if it was done once that is fine because then it makes sense in the whole circle of a story okay but it was done multiple times yeah, so so that's what i really liked about it I, the thing that got me was like um well first of all the action scenes i thought were amazing yeah i give but, it to the action scenes yeah like, that's why i gave it a seven it's like the gore was pretty intense right like when they were like i guess like it's not super yeah. gory but it was like gory enough when they broke yeah, all yeah. his bones it was like yeah. oh man but um no, uh, the the thing I liked about it was like it would pass over something and you'd be like okay whatever mm-hmm. and then later on it would be like a key moment that you pass over and I was like oh that's really cool that's yeah. what I liked yeah. it's like I, you could call like, it though but, you could call it like you you called you called that like, girl the assassin girl being yeah like daughters? there's gonna be yeah something connected to that like there you know because I kept going back to that part. It's like I, but I was just like, okay, that's how you got in power. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. You're just like, yeah. okay, yeah, sure. But then, like, when it went back, it was like, actually, that's his daughter. You're like, oh snap, it's all connected. I really like that. Like, it's like bring everything mm-hmm, together. Mm-hmm. But it, I just didn't like when it goes when it does it multiple times. Right. Okay, because then okay. you're just repeating. You're saving. But like, costs but I also that's liked, how I always looked at it. But like, but I liked it things. like going back because it was like you're looking at the same thing from different vantage like viewpoints and like because of yeah. that it's making a more well-rounded explanation yeah no no no. there were i mean in that sense there were like newer shots but there was a lot of older shots of no no, no i, I don't mean about that i meant about like story-wise it's like going oh, yeah. back to that yeah. thing it's like mm-hmm. actually that one moment was so pivotal for all four yeah 
You know what I mean? It's right, like, right. We're, we're no, all lined I up. Understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. I get that. I just think if it was done, like, there are movies that I've liked that do do that, but they don't do it multiple times. Yeah, like Crash. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like, like yeah. more like one time and it's connecting it all versus yeah, yeah, like yeah, multiple yeah. times going back. But and, see, see, oh. that's what Guy Ritchie does, though. He always like rewinds, mm-hmm. fast forwards. He like, that's why I really liked it. It was like a very yeah, Guy Ritchie I guess, yeah, girl movie. You right, know? right. I just never, like I've seen multiple things of that and I've, kind of got bored of that and of, it like, really it, it really humanized harley quinn no like when i saw it i was like yeah. oh i get it like from their perspective like mm-hmm. you're thinking about like you're thinking about like super villains right and then you see them during the daytime and you're like oh they're normal people yeah that's what really got me like when mm-hmm. she wanted the egg sandwich in the morning i was like <laughs> what do they do until the nighttime right you yeah know, what time do they sleep and then what time <laughs> do they wake up what do they do when they wake up right you know i wanted to see more action from the hyena though yeah me too that's probably like movie number two. Movie Who's your favorite movie. character? Uh, favorite character of them. I mean, it's Harley. I, I know. Harley was the main one. She did like she was the main almost in every scene, so she was really good at. I liked Harley, but it's a toss up between Harley and the Asian girl. I don't even know that kid's name. Cassandra <laughs> Kane. Yeah, yeah. Isn't Cassandra Kane? Cassandra Kane doesn't she become like a. I don't know. I think I think the name later. is important. I think I think there is something to to her name. Yeah, Cassandra Kane. She Sounds... becomes like an assassin later on. I think. Okay, yeah, you should look it up. Maybe yeah. Yeah, I should look into that. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> so like okay. So second on the list was Cassandra Kane for me, and then Canary. I really like. Yeah, and I then like the Canary. other two. I was like, yeah. eh, like you guys could have either been or not been in it. Mm-hmm. Didn't really mm-hmm. matter to me. Right. Right. Did you? But did you like the Asian kid? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, she was I, fun. I thought that was so cool how, like, she pickpocketed that person later on. And then when they finally met up, she's like, you're the girl from the roller derby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, oh, that's right. a really cool. Brought it back together, you yeah. know? Because when I first saw that, I was like, when I when I first saw that movie, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was like, is that kid important? I was like, why did that kid pickpocket? That's kind of weird. Right. And then it came back. And I was like, oh, snap. It's that kid. Mm, right. Yeah. Yeah. Fighting, fighting wise, I was like, this is so believable. Minus, like, the, obviously, like, minus the crazy, like, flips and, like, all that mm-hmm. stuff. But, like, the way she was using the bat, I was like, wow, that is how you would use the bat. Effective. Like, yeah. like viciously. Yeah. I really liked her um, her fighting style because it seemed very, like, chaotic. Mm-hmm. But, like, practical, chaotic, and brutal. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was yeah, so, yeah. like, m- remember when they were carrying the kid away and then she pulled mm-hmm. out the gun? You thought it was going to be, like, some, like, oh, it's going to be some masterful, like, take out because she was doing all these flips etc et mm-hmm. and then she just shot the guy in the head it was like oh you know what i mean it was <laughs> yeah, like it's yeah, very yeah. like it was yeah. abrupt uh i did like the aspect of them actually trying to go for the whole rated r and actually going, yeah going forward with that that yeah, was totally, totally. Yeah, that was good it's very like uh deadpoolish yeah yeah yeah, yeah. right it's, uh, I, I don't know how mm-hmm. to explain it but it's sort of like so um like we have this like rhyming scheme like tara likes to make fun of me, like uh, 31 and fun right mm-hmm. but like i always go with 31 and old <laughs> it you know what i mean it's it's like it's like you expect like a rhyme right and then it like cuts it mm-hmm. you know it's sort of like that was how the action scene was to me that's why i thought it was so funny it was like it was like all this like fanciful stuff and then all of a sudden like the final guy mm-hmm. all right what are you gonna do with him shoots him in the head it right. was like there was no joke yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean like i thought that was such a clever way to portray mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. the the fighting scene yeah what do you think of the final scene where like uh the bomb it was so abrupt right you're like oh that's how the final bad guy does like there was like you expected something crazy and then it's like oh, i mean that, uh, i did like that of just he just went into pieces <laughs> yeah, yeah right totally right yeah it was so like it was so deadpoolish yeah this movie yeah it was yeah a lot of it was but yeah. like not not to the extreme of deadpool but it was like but it makes sense because like Harley Quinn's kind of that character. I really love Margot Robbie as uh, Harley Quinn. I think it's a masterful performance. Yeah, you yeah. know, like she has that character nailed. Oh yeah. But it's like, how do you bring Harley Quinn and Joker together? Joker isn't like Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, like they're two totally different kinds of like crazy. I mean, yeah, they built this one off of the he. Uh, what's his name? Um, Jared Leto. Jared Leto's Joker. Yeah. Yeah. That that one was like more of like. Like um, what's his name? Uh, Heath. Uh, no, Heath Ledger's. Heath Ledger's Joker. I could see with this Harley Quinn. He was like that kind of crazy. Yeah. But like the Joker in uh, Joaquin Phoenix, it was more of like psychological crazy. So yeah. like I don't really see that. But yeah, I think it's there's 
stick to like it's fine i don't think they all have to be connected no no totally i'm just wondering how it will work i Um, don't think they will be bringing him i don't think phoenix will do it no no of course not of course not but do you think they'll bring jay leto back uh maybe like a little cameo uh, role i don't know i don't know do you remember suicide squad i don't remember anything i kind of want to put it back on just to be like (laughs) was this even good no i I remember it was trash. Yeah. But it's like how trash is trash. I remember Joker scenes were like so ridiculous. I was like, oh, this is so lame. Yeah. Did they, they were, I don't know, I don't think they showed anything with Joker in here, right? No, the. Or was there a back of the Joker? It was the back of the Joker. So I'm not sure if it was reshot or taken from the other. No, uh, well, the one was taken from the old movie and then the other one was like, they shot it. Okay. When he was like talking about the tattoo of the guy's face. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but then yeah, when yeah. she fell into the vat, that was from the first movie. Mm-hmm. Those were from oh, yeah. Squad. yeah, 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 yeah. I really, I love how, like DC is very hit and miss. You know what I mean? Like, I really like Batman vs Superman. Justice League was terrible. Uh, this movie was amazing. Suicide Squad was terrible. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, um, Aquaman, I did not like. Right. The Wonder Woman series looks really good. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. they have some good ones, some bad ones, but like with Marvel, it's like quality control. They're right. all equally as good. Yeah. Except for Thor number one. I didn't like that. I, <laughs> I've never even watched it. Like, I mean, like I've tried to watch it, but I can't finish it. You know? Right. But like you feel that too? Uh, Yeah. I, it's a hit and miss with, with DC, well, right? With DC. But I kind of feel also with DC, it's like they take more chances than Marvel. Mm-hmm. Like the only chance Marvel's ever taken was with Deadpool. Yeah, that's true. You yeah. know, like everything else is kind of like it's they're all the exact same for the Marvel movies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's definitely like a business decision because you're like yeah. you're you're under Disney now, so you right. can't like go crazy. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, what, what else do you like in the movie? What else do you think? Uh, I mean. Or what else did you dislike? No, it was a lot of that, like just the repetitiveness of it. I just didn't. I got bored of that. Okay, so you just didn't like the storytelling. Yeah. The way the story got told. Yeah. So like for you, um, well, but I mean that makes sense because like you didn't like Guy Ritchie. Yeah. Right. So it's like I like Guy Ritchie. That's why I wanted to watch it twice because I was like, oh, it's like a Guy Ritchie movie. Mm. Um, but like, so that's why you gave it a seven, just because of the the storyline, the storytelling, not the storyline. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. Yeah. Well, what did you think about... I mean, the action was good. I thought the Black Mask's mask was bad. Oh, my God. What? I oh, the, the acting from Ewan McGregor? No, no, I'm not saying the oh, acting. Oh, okay, the, okay. The, like the, the costume for oh, yeah, the I didn't mask was like... That. What did you think of Ewan McGregor? Amazing, right? I thought he was good. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. I was, like, was kind of like, why would you get this guy? Like, he's like a prominent actor, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, And then when you watch it, you're like, oh, this is a role... I get why he did this role because it's like this is this is a diff this is not your typical Ewan McGregor role no you know he played Mm Obi-Wan to like play this it's like he's using different styles of acting which is well he's done yeah he's he's done other movies that I haven't watched but yeah after Obi-Wan I watched like two of his movies (laughs) but like but like this one's like a character I've never seen him play before Mm -hmm. you know very flamboyant I I believed it you know right. how he was like getting upset? He's like, these are my things. My <laughs> things. I thought that was so funny. It was like, that is how, like, he's like a spoiled brat. Right, right. You know, it wasn't like he was like a mischievous mastermind. It was more like he was like a spoiled brat. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You know I what I mean? Like, yeah. right? Like, it, it was the other guy that was like the mastermind who was like doing everything for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But like, this guy was just like, funding it and like taking all the credit and stuff i i did i did like it wasn't even about like the birds of prey the whole idea wasn't about harley quinn which is cool because it kind of came up at the end like these three people end up becoming the team. birds of prey yeah, yeah. it wasn't actually harley quinn that became a birds of prey yeah remember? but she yeah. was connected in some way so but it makes sense this is like what was it called the movie it was like the tale of I don't uh, remember. It was like Quinn. a long, yeah. It was like, it was like, a, it was like a really ridiculously long title. Yeah. You know what I really loved? Oh, it, it's kind of funny though. Like, I also like the art style of this movie, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I was like, oh, it's because it's the way I do my art. Right. Did you notice that? Like the colors were so like, 
it was so yeah, extra. Yeah, like yeah. I always like if you look at my stories, mm -hmm. it's like there's so many emojis and like there's so much like color and depth and stuff. And I'm like, when I watched this movie, I was like, oh, that's a thing. Like people mm -hmm. think that's a style as well. It's very like Harley Quinn esque. Right. Right. Even the way like her tattoos are, the way my tattoos are, mm -hmm. you know, very like they very like jumbled too. Right. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I, I think that's why I really liked Harley Quinn's character. Like, creatively, I could feel the way she was making choices. Mm -hmm. Even the way, like, the movie displayed itself with, like, how little pop-ups came up. Like, um, name, grievance. That was so funny to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And even the way they wrote everyone's name with, like, a little, like, uh, the Huntress with the arrow. Remember when Huntress was practicing? She was like, uh, they call me... And everyone called her like the bow and arrow killer or something. <laughs> and then she's like in the bathroom mirror, like trying to rehearse it. That was so clever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm not sure if it was overhyped or something to me, but like, I, okay. I didn't feel it as. You didn't think that was that funny? And yeah, I didn't find. Oh, I thought it was so funny. Maybe it's just like. It's like, this is my kind of humor, yeah. you know, and like my yeah. kind of storytelling. That's yeah. why I was like, oh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. And my kind of art, because like that, like loud, that loud style. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know right. how I like write on everything too. <laughs> right. Like, and then like, it's kind of what she would do as well. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like tacky almost. Right. You know? Yeah. 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 True. I just didn't, didn't work for me. <laughs> yeah. True. I feel you. I feel you. Uh, I love I love it when kids swear in movies because it's so real, <laughs> right? Like when she's like, "What the f?" Is the, and you're like, "That's so funny." Like right, this little yeah, kid yeah. is swearing, but it's like we all did that. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to be so boss at such a young age, right? Like, yeah, 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 true. Yeah, true. So what what did you what did you actually like about the movie? The the fight scenes were fun. Yeah, true. Um, fight scenes definitely. The uh -huh. cocaine scene was kind of like. Was, no, but she I, I, she did get pretty awesome. There, yeah, though. yeah, yeah. No, like like a lot of those scenes were really cool. I thought um, when, when she walked in with the gun and then she started hitting, shooting everybody with like the bean bags. No, oh, yeah, yeah. That was such good. Like that was good too because that makes sense. Like that kind of a weapon for her. Yeah, to yeah, make yeah. it colorful as she already is like a clown, right? So yeah. So that was the whole idea. I like that. I like that. Um, but again, it was like okay, repeating back to that right scene yeah, yeah, yeah. that, was, feel, feel, that yeah, was the yeah. part again okay okay i got it <laughs> i i loved how uh, harley quinn was a genius you know they're like yeah. uh like mm -hmm. the, the guy called her stupid she's like stupid i have a phd oh yeah you yeah. know and then like everything yeah, we she do kept forget saying, that that's the thing we do forget like how actually smart, smart she is yeah, yeah. and we don't we totally forget that and, yeah. and then when she was calling everyone's personalities mm -hmm. psychologically i was like wow this is pretty impressive you know, like how she's like, oh, and you're like, you're so boring. You're yeah, just yeah, talking yeah. about your daddy issues. And like, well, like you're just like, remember and like, oh, uh, what'd she say? She's like, vengeance doesn't often give us the catharsis that we hope for. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, what an insightful thing to say. It's almost like, you know what it, you know, what it's like what, what Joker, not really Joker, actually, I, I wouldn't say Joker, but like Harley Quinn reminds me of like the laughing Buddha. You know, like, yeah. like where, where, like, you have Siddhartha, who's the serious Buddha, who's like all about, you know, it's it's sort of like this, like all life is either a comedy or a tragedy, mm -hmm. right? But it's like they're both the same thing, comedy and tragedy are the exact same thing, right? And she's taking the comedy approach, you know, yeah, which is like very laughing Buddha ish, like like what she said was very true, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like revenge is not going to give you the catharsis that you think it will right and it's like oh that's very insightful and then she just started laughing about something else and it's like yeah because you're like amidst the suffering mm. you're finding joy and that's what i think the embodiment of harley quinn is right yeah yeah so yeah you you really like the movie <laughs> I, I really like the movie like i just like seeing all of the connections in it it's just like really right. It was really brilliantly made. Like I really thought it was yeah, good. Yeah. You know. All right. Yeah. Uh, I can. S uh, w did you catch any differences, or if you don't remember any, we don't remember anything mean? from the like Suicide Squad. Or, uh, yeah. yeah. Like what do you mean? No, I was trying to think if you like why this one and not Suicide Squad, but you I don't think remember. I think 
because well the director is like totally different yeah the story i think it's just the way this story was written i think it was i think it's yeah that's true it, it's it's it, it's like the also the, the um suicide squad felt to me like they were trying to be um like the marvel team yeah like they were trying to do like a team up Mm-hmm. It felt like trying too hard, whereas this one felt more like circumstantial. Mm-hmm. It's like we're not really a team. It's just like we're interacting with one another. Right. You only became birds of prey at the very end because that's like what you called yourselves. Mm-hmm. You know, but like yeah. it wasn't about teaming up this movie. It was about like like your circumstance led you to have to team up. Yeah. You know, whereas like Suicide Squad. Yeah, because like, it didn't really team up till the end. I mean, and they it, didn't even it, really team up. It was yeah, just like, it wasn't. we're all going to die. Too, yeah, so we have to... Yeah, that was kind of cool. I thought that was Right, cool. right? Yeah. But like with Suicide Squad, they were picking out special members of the team in order to like go complete a mission. Yeah. And it was kind of like, all right, you're forcing this team together. <laughs> you know? True. It wasn't organic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? that was the difference. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What else did same, you... Same with... Uh, it was a Marvel approach, too, because Marvel was like that, too. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I guess, like, no, Marvel wasn't because they were picking out specific people. That's what S.H.I.E.L.D. was doing, right? Uh, Yeah, yeah but out... they weren't... But they were, like... It the... felt more organic, too, right? Yeah, because like, they, were, yeah. they were doing it, but that's outside people, right? They weren't particularly... They weren't, like, looking to be a... Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess Suicide Squad was like that, too. They weren't looking. They were, like, forced together by... Yeah, but it was done so... Like, it was all done in the beginning, right? So yeah, like... yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's no, like, build-up. It was kind of like, all right, this is your team. Yeah. And we're like, okay. Yeah. And then you find out about each character as the movie continues to play out. Whereas, mm-hmm. like, Marvel and this one, like, you don't team up until it's absolutely necessary. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. What were you going to say about... Did I cut you off? No, no. Uh, I mean... Did you? Oh, was there anything you didn't like? What I um, ooh, good question. Um, <laughs> no, I really maybe like they could have toned down the action scenes a bit. Like it could have just not been that ridiculous. Like when uh, like the only thing I thought was kind of ridiculous was when um the flip the canary no, no no the canary she like screamed yeah but they left that to the end i know right? they that really kinda, didn't really like, that's kind of lame no, but that is whatever that is her power no, no, no i know power, i know i know yeah, yeah, yeah. but i just thought it was kind of corny the way it was and then she used the scream to boost her speed yeah yeah and and then from there that's when i was like okay we need to tone down a little bit like <laughs> when she did the flips on the car i was like okay like right let's bring it back to reality uh yeah I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was that, okay that that canary scene because that's again that is her after all. True, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like you're asking me. But she only did it. Yeah, I get. It. I, I know. I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. But I really liked the um, the Asian dude at the. He kept calling her Lotus Flower. Mm. And it's like even though he had no grievance with her, he's still willing to sell her out. Yeah. And that was kind of like another life, a teachable moment about life, and then mm-hmm. she used that. You know, it's almost like your environment shapes you because then she did that to the little girl. Yeah. Remember? So it's like... Right, right, right. It's, it, that was kind of telling as well. It's like, are, is it nature or nurture? You know? Like, yeah. But at, like you saw Harley Quinn's nature, but uh, her nurture, like who she was. Mm-hmm. No, it was her nature. But then the nurture was the environment. And then like when things went awry because of her environment, she started to become like her environment as well. Right. I feel like she's a good person, you know, in her heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Which which makes sense. Right. Hi, baby. All right, we're going to pause right there. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, so we didn't end up pausing. Um, what else? What'd you... Do you have anything else that you didn't like? Liked? Uh, I mean, I don't know. There's, I just didn't feel committed to the characters. You didn't feel like um, yeah. you were kind of like uh, you weren't like attached to them. Like you didn't build an affinity. No. 
Um, yeah. Really? Eh? No. <laughs> I mean, I, I can get that with the police officer, the assassin. I I grew an affinity towards those three characters that I liked, which is like Harley Quinn, the Cassandra Kane, and mm-hmm. um, the Black the Canary, Black Canary. Yeah. 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 Like those three, I felt for. Oh, what do you think about like the, the get on the table scene, and then like Black Canary cried? I was like, wow, this is pretty intense right now. Like they went down that road, you know. Well, yeah. That I mean, that was what the other review guy was saying that he was that kind of person. But I think they were right. trying to focus on on that as the main um like give thing about him right right make it like that's his character yeah like that that's his kind of personality yeah Yeah, i i guess and i did feel that like when i when i saw it i was like oh that is how that is how you would portray like a psycho like like how else are you going to portray that he's like that kind of person yeah, yeah, no, I think yeah. I think they needed to find something to make this guy better. Right, because I don't know anything. Right, right. What but is it, like the what is the exactly. motivations for Black Mask? I don't know but, anything about this. But guy. but in mm-hmm. that scene, it felt random to me. It was like mm-hmm. oh, that. But it kind of also told you about him because it was right. like oh, he he's easily triggered by environmental things. And remember, right. it showed you about the guy because the guy was like. He's like, is she laughing at me? And the guy was like, she is laughing at you. Trying to like go with yeah, them yeah, on, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But like, it also find, felt kind of like, rant. like it's almost like they, they're like, okay, we have to explain this person's character. Let's put this scenario in mm-hmm. there. You know, it mm-hmm. didn't really feel like it advanced the story. It advanced yeah. the character arc, but it didn't like advance the story. I guess that's one thing I would say I would take away from it. Like I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I didn't like that part. Right. Yeah. 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 What do you think about like, uh, what jokes did you like? Um, nothing. I didn't really. Really? Not, I don't think I. Oh, I no, what, I can't what, remember what, if I chuckled at anything. What, what about the I gun laughed. scene when they're like, "Oh, what about these guns?" And there's no guns. That was so funny. Again, no. <laughs> wow. Okay. What about um? What about the the egg sandwich jokes? Uh, no. No, yeah, it didn't work funny. on me. No. I, I just thought of me. Was I was kind of like, I would like to try that egg sandwich. Right. You know. Uh yeah, I mean I have an egg sandwich, so But that one looks so good with the cheese and the bacon. I was like, Whoa. <laughs> they sold you, yeah. <laughs> and then but that was funny too, because then they're like, he makes the best um uh egg sandwiches. I don't know if it's the Armenian hair or the six month old cheese. Mm-hmm. You know, like but it's like, oh, you're eating like really bad food. It it really like it really humanized bad people to me like villains because it's i always wondered like what do they do during the daytime and then you see this you're like yeah it's very human mm-hmm. i just want to eat i right. just want to like go about my day mm-hmm. i'm gonna watch tv you know what i mean like right. i'm surprised like i kept thinking they were gonna show batman yeah i thought there would be maybe something to allude to the new batman but nothing yeah no, I nothing or i really think I don't, I don't know I, I i mean they were all decided later on I don't, i'm not too sure like in the timeline how right, how right, 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 totally. Because right. we also don't know when this new Batman is. Yeah. Right, this could be like Batman, like the um, we're talking about the Robert Pattinson Batman. Yeah. So it's like it could be like Batman Year One. Mm-hmm. I could see that actually for the for the new Batman, Batman Year One, when he's young and then he comes back to Gotham for the first time. Mm, maybe, yeah. You know, we'll see. Because <laughs> they did show Batman in Suicide Squad. Uh, At the very uh, end, he fought Joker. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't remember it, but. They didn't really give him any lines or anything. He oh, just okay. like showed up, right? Yeah. Mm. It's it's interesting to think like, well, one, it's like New York. It's like very New York feel. I'm pretty sure they shot in New York, but it's like there's so much going on that you're kind of like, where are the other people? What are the other people doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, all, right, all these people are going to kill Harley Quinn. Like, what is Joker up to? What is, um, right? You know, like what is Ra's al-, al Ghul up to? It's like how can Batman keep up with all of these things? You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. we'll see. Uh, I don't know. I yeah, that was okay. That was a good movie. I mean, it's it's hard to put scores on these things. Like a lot of places are now kind of cutting away from giving scores, more just like go see it or don't see it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I so think... you don't want to score these anymore? Just be like, yo, go. Uh, we'll see we'll it, think about it. it. We'll think about it. We'll see. Right, sure. Because then you have to also average it out. It's like math. <laughs> Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. It's like, was it worth seeing it? 
Or was it not? Like, what are the, these numbers are very... But I feel like every movie we see, it's we're going to be like, yeah, that's worth seeing. Except for certain movies that are so terrible. Like, I'm thinking about, like, most of our movie reviews. Anything over, like, a five, I would be like, yeah, just go check it out. Anything over six, I would say, go check it out. Mm-hmm. So it's like, that's a lot of what we've watched is over a six, so... Right. Anyways, yeah, we'll figure that out. Do we do we give scores? Do we just be like, go see it, don't go see it? Or are we going to decide right now on the podcast? This is actually a life-changing moment. This is the <laughs> fork in the road. Okay. Are we going to score it? Or are we just going to say, go see it, don't go see it? Yeah, skip it or see it. Yeah, so you, what do you, is that what we're going to go for? We're going to say skip it or see it? Instead of What's scores? What's the, the phrase? I don't know. I don't know the phrase, but like. Yeah, I, I guess. Like, I like skip it or see it. Okay. Yeah. Skip it or watch it. What is the one? No, well, skip it or watch. That's not um, alliteration then. Okay. S and S. Skip it or see it. Skip it and watch it. That's like two. It doesn't flow nicely. Okay. All right, so skip it or see it. So um, I'm going to say see it. Definitely see it. I'll say see it. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, what does seven and a half mean? Yeah, totally. All right, fine. I like it over oh, here. Here's how we're going to break it down from now on. This is the future. We're going to go skip it or see it, home or theater. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what right, it's really about. Right. All right, so I'm going to say. Oh, wait for Netflix. <laughs> well, yeah, that's technically home. That's home. Now, so yeah. uh, I'm going to say um, see it mm-hmm. and in a theater. I think it's worth theater. Uh, I'll say see it in, at home. Okay, true. Yeah. See, that's way better, actually. It gives context. We, I think then, it gives context. Right, that's the thing we're going to do from now on. So if you listen to these in the future, it's going to be skip it or see it, home or theater. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else do you... Uh, I, don't know, I don't have much to say about this movie. Really. All right, true. All right, well, at the end of the day, it's a see it. For um, both of us. For both of us. But one... You could wait... Or you, it, yeah, I, I mean it's a yeah. From my perspective, you can wait till it's like for on, like streaming. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm yeah yeah okay. I could uh, there's something about like watching a theater like in like I feel like it's big enough. It's it's like amazing enough to watch in theater for mm-hmm. me. But like a Sonic, like when Sonic came out, I'm like, that's not really a theater movie. That's more of like a streaming movie. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we, are, we haven't even seen it, but we were deciding already. On yeah, that. I'm like, I'll just wait for the, the streaming. <laughs> like, it doesn't seem... Even though the, the Rotten Tomatoes score is like 90% or something. I think it's just because of the nostalgia about it. Right, totally, totally, totally. And then them actually listening and fixing Who, the character. Would you like to see a Birds of Prey movie without Harley Quinn? Because that's kind of what they're alluding to. Yeah, they're trying to build. So, do you, all right. So, do you think it's going to go into two different directions? It's going to be like Harley Quinn series, like a, a like um franchise, and then a Birds of Prey franchise, and then maybe they'll meet back up again. Uh, I don't know, and I don't really, I didn't really care about the other characters. Right. So I I agree with you on this one. So I would probably check out the Harley Quinn series, but I don't know about the Birds of Prey. Like they didn't really didn't really capture me enough except for black canary but yeah that's like one character out of the three right yeah. so i would have liked to see more of the hyenas mm-hmm. she's actually supposed to have two hyenas oh yeah not just right. one yeah okay so maybe she'll get another one in the in the next movie <laughs> in the next one <laughs> yeah maybe do you think this is like very on point for the character like it's very like for harley quinn book. i felt so yeah 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 it felt very like on on point for the character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but at the same time, like I feel like all the other characters were because I was gonna say like, what about the other characters? I don't really know too much about them, but it kind of feels like they were all like gravitating towards her character style. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like it, it felt like the dialogue was Harley Quinn style. Yeah, I mean she was narrating the whole thing. Right? True. Yeah, that's true. Because even the the assassin. The Huntress. Mm-hmm. Remember, she was like, um, what she do? She's like, she she was like socially awkward. Yeah. Right, but that's that's more of like a Harley Quinn style. Mm-hmm. You know, it didn't really feel like that's how Huntress would have actually acted. 
But maybe like with the other Birds of Prey movies, it's like from each other's point of view because that's what they're saying, right? Like this one's told from Harley Quinn's point of view. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. That'd be yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. Would you watch a standalone with uh, Cassandra Kane? I really like the thievery. <laughs> I really like the thievery. I like. I don't know. I Her don't pickpocketing know. is pretty cool. Come on. Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, maybe when she's older, like, not right now. Like, yeah, I of course. Watch I don't think kid, they're going like, to now. Well, actually, yeah. technically, we did watch, like, Shazam, which is very kid-ish, but there was, like, an adult. Yeah. Was, Do you feel, I feel like they're going to swap out Cassandra Kane. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if the yeah, next Harley Quinn I mean, movie comes on... out, she's going to be, like, older. They're not going to use the same Cassandra Kane. Mm-hmm. Possible. Yeah. I mean, they have to... I, I don't know if she they can do it at her age. <laughs> True, yeah. No, I was thinking more of like, because like, you don't know how they're going to like develop. Right. You know what I mean? Like with kids, it's like, it's always different. Like, uh, for example, they were mm-hmm. going to, do you remember Twilight? A little bit. So. Okay, remember Jacob Black? Who was uh, uh, the, the Native American? Okay. Great. Yeah. Remember him turning a werewolf? Mm, somewhat, yeah. Okay, so in the first movie, he was like skinny and he was young, right? Like, um, but then when the next movie came out, they're like, we're going to switch Jacob Black as the character because, like, you need to be jacked. Right. So he, in order to not lose the role, he became super jacked. So I kind of feel like that's okay. how it's going to be with Cassandra Kane. It's like, we need you to do this and you can't do it. We need to hire someone else. Right. Because, like, if she's going to be, like, a super spy, how long do you have to wait for her to get old? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, and also get, like, super fit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't know. Yeah. I noticed though that they're bringing a lot of Asians into movies now. Yeah. So all I right, right. I was like, oh, okay, okay, breaking the stereotypes because like Asians aren't typically in blockbusters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think Crazy Rich Asians had a lot to do with that. Uh, probably. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Um, I mean, some of those characters are from Crazy Rich Asians. No, 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 uh, no, no. I'm saying they, like our had, Asian, um, right? Like only Cassandra, I guess. But. No, cause, oh well, they had Cassandra. They had the people that got killed. Then they had Ali Wong. Oh yeah, remember? Yeah. And I was like, oh, there's a bunch of Asians in this movie, mm. which is like so not typical. See, I think that's also why I liked it—the inclusivity, right? Women empowered, inclusivity, uh, Zen realizations in it. Mm-hmm. There's so much to the movie. If you look at it like in layers, not just like right as a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 True. Sure. So, um, I guess final decision: check the movie out. Yeah. Yeah, watch it. Yeah, definitely worth watching. It's up to you if you want to spend the thirteen ninety nine or not, <laughs> or wherever. However much it costs you, wherever. Yeah. You're watching movies. Right. All right, till next time. Um, is there any? I swear there's like another movie that's supposed to come out. We're gonna watch it. I don't. Maybe I was thinking Sonic. Yeah, we're not gonna watch that. No, we're not gonna watch that. <laughs> All right. Only a couple more episodes before Vish leaves for India. So you're gonna have a little hiatus from us. When do you leave again? Twenty six. Six. That's like. That's like one more episode. Yeah. Next week's episode. All right, so stay tuned for next week's episode. It's going to be one last one before a three-week hiatus. Yeah, you can say so. Yeah. All right. Until next time, um, live long and Harley Quinn. Yeah, cool. All right. Take it easy. Bye. Peace.